the summit for Mount Yale. 18 or 14 or number eight for me. Two for Kansas. Perfect day for it. Beautiful temps. Sun's out. Not too windy. Just trying to follow the trail. And 270 feet or something like that. Woo! Nice. going for we're now actually I'll clarify this is Tuesday now Mount Yale yesterday Monday with Candace she had to go back to work so going solo and uh, yeah going for uh, right next to Yale uh, going for summit of Mount Princeton should be like 14,190 something I'm a ways up it's mostly just a dirt road for a long long ways which is why well, I haven't filmed until now, but we're about to get off the last little bit of this road and start heading up the face of the Montagna. So check it out. And that straight ahead is the summit of Princeton. Shouldn't be too long now. All right, so I was wrong. Uh, that is not Mount Princeton. That is. So, <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna go to the right of this little hump right here and then get on the ridge and head up to Princeton. See how the conditions are. It's definitely more snow on the trail now that we're up above 12,000 feet. So we'll just have to see how she goes. I do have spikes, so should be able to make it. really close to the summit it's right there behind me but I don't know if I can make it time wise um, <clears throat> sunsets around 4 30 or so um, uh, but really the concern is like the last like everything I've done the last like mile and a half was very technical and slow going and everything to the top obviously looks uh, technical and slow going so I'm thinking about by the time I get to the summit, that's at least 145, and then to get back away from some of this more technical stuff, like, I don't know, should I go? Do I send it? <sighs> questions. Always, always questions. All right, 
almost at the top. <clears throat> Way over 14,000 feet now. I am tired. If you're gonna come do Princeton, you better be fit, because it is hard. This whole last ridge part, I mean, it's just brutally steep. But I think I maybe have about 50 feet and I'll be summoning 14 or number nine. Check this. we made it. <sighs> Took me a while. <sighs> uh, 14,190 something motherfucking feet. Two 14ers, two days in a row, man. All right. <sighs> yeah, that last ridge bit, that was a grinder. <sighs> Happy to be up here, though. Can't spend too much time, unfortunately, because uh, it's a little past 1.30. Well, you know, I got three hours till sunset. There's no way this is taking me three hours. But the next uh, two miles down are very technical, so I assume that'll be at least an hour. And then after that, pretty runnable. So not worried once we get past these next two miles down. Uh, but yeah, let's go rock it out. Glad we made it up here, man. I was getting worried. I was pretty tired. It's pretty thrashed from, uh, excuse me, from the long week of runs. I had a 76 mile week last week and then started this week with a 14er yesterday. So yeah, I already got a lot of vert <clears throat> two days in and opening day uphill tomorrow at Winter Park. I'm going to be skiing uphill all day, all day. So yeah, let's kiss this summit goodbye and, and get back down safely. Getting down is a lot faster than going up. I think I got down in uh, about an hour and 47 minutes. It took me four hours to get up. So yeah, big difference there. Total time is about five hours and 47 minutes. It's a long day, good training run. No ankle rolls or anything shitty. Couldn't be more happy. 14 or number nine, Princeton in the books.